Well, we got a small amount of rain this week, but too little to help some stressed out trees. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike Johnson. And I'm Alexandra Renslow. Brown leaves and early leaf drop are all signs that the drought is taking a toll on our trees. It's a problem that could ultimately cost you a few trees in your yard, but it's not too late to save them. We walk every morning. It's about, not quite, but just about three miles. Cindy and Roger Hurd's daily walk has long become a routine. Very much routine. We come down the trail along the creek, which is very, very nice. Lately, this couple can't help but notice the trees. They're kind of getting a little brown. They look like they're being stressed a little bit more than normal. Look like they're really dry. They're right. The lack of rainfall is stressing trees, in some cases browning the leaves and leading to an early leaf drop. It's really setting up for next year. And if the tree comes out of next year and it's stressed already, at, you know, it's already at a disadvantage next spring and we can't really predict what next spring's gonna be like. A stressed tree now can lead to a stressed tree next spring and that makes it more susceptible to insects and disease, like borers and beetles that could put an end to your favorite shade tree. When you get to a point where the insects or diseases come along that are opp opportunistic, they can pick out the ones that are stressed. You can just tell that they're not the way they usually are. I know in our yard we've got a lot more dry leaves on the ground. The brown is kind of disturbing. Plymouth forester Paul Buck says it's not always so easy to tell if a tree is stressed, but it's not too late to protect and relieve your trees. Just turn on the hose every day. It's easier to just say, let's water as many trees as you can. I mean, if you have a big, beautiful tree in your front yard, you know, the pennies you're going to spend on watering that tree for a couple weeks through the fall are well spent. Ideally, one to two inches of rain each week would help the trees this fall before winter comes.